Now, when you recover refrigerant, there are really two things to worry about, or two, th two ways to, to do this when you're recovering refrigerant. One is what they call system dependent or passive. System dependent, or in other words, passive. The other one is self contained. Those are the two ways that we recover refrigerant. Now, let's talk about system dependent. System dependent, or like I said, passive. Okay, this is when you capture refrigerant with the assistance of the components a compressor in the system. So now we're using the system, we're using that air conditioning system to help us recover the refrigerant. So we're being dependent on that system that we're recovering to help us remove the refrigerant. Or in other words, recovery equipment that relies on the compressor in the appliance and or the pressure of the refrigerant in the appliance. That is a system dependent recovery or in other words, a passive, a passive recovery. Now the other one is self-contained. Self-contained, what that means is that you have a piece of equipment like the one that I just showed you. Now inside of it, you're going to have a compressor, you're going to have a condenser, and it's got a little fan in there. And basically what it's doing, it is pulling the refrigerant out of the system with the compressor that's in the recovery machine and is pumping it into a recovery bottle. Now this recovery bottle is going to hold that refrigerant because now we're recovering that refrigerant. So we're using a component that is self-contained we're using a recovery machine that is self-contained to recover the refrigerant. Now, if we're recovering the refrigerant and put it into the bottle, everything that's in the system will be put into the bottle. Now, if the system has been contaminated, so in other words, you have non-condensable gases in the system that you're recovering, that's going to give you high head pressure. Sometimes you go to a system, you go to a unit, and you see that it's operating with high pressures. Well, what that could mean is that you have air and non-condensables in the system. This refrigerant you just removed from the system is going to go into that recovery bottle. So now we have to be careful about that because everything in that recovery bottle is going to be contaminated. So you have, well, another thing is you have to check the recovery equipment for refrigerant leaks on a regular basis. So if we're recovering refrigerant and you're pulling a vacuum on the system with a recovery machine to get it down to proper levels, if you don't check for leaks, you may introduce air into the system. Now you're contaminating the recovered refrigerant. If refrigerant is coming out and you have a leak, now you're going to be releasing refrigerant to the atmosphere. So that's why you have, to you have to check for leaks as you're recovering the refrigerant so that you do not either introduce air into the system or leak refrigerant out of the system. So remember that. Passive, we're using the compressor or the pressure in the system. Self-contained, we have a recovery machine that's going to draw the refrigerant out of there and is going to put it into a recovery tank.